you know, everybody has their own version of what caused this financial crisis. Every newspaper article, every magazine story has their own take on it. And I'd like you to share your view of this with us. It's, you know, Ken French, a good friend of mine, has a, a good analogy, which is if you look after an airplane crash, you, usually you find 10 things that failed. And seven of them could have happened and there would have been no problem. And it probably took nine or 10 simultaneously to take the plane down. And I think that's kind of the way I think about the financial crisis. I don't think there was just one thing or even two things. It was a, a combination of problems. Um, most, the, the one word answer would be there were a lot of bad incentives all the way through the financial system. The rating agencies had bad incentives, the regulators had bad incentives, the politicians had bad incentives, the traders inside a lot of the financial institutions had kind of bad incentives, and it, it was a confluence of actions by lots of different uh, actors and failures of many different uh, parts of the system that, that all kind of combined. So it seems as though the many people look at the housing sector and say, well, that's the epicenter of everything. But if I understand the way you're describing it, perhaps six months to a year later, some other sector may have shown the stresses and strains? Yeah, and I think the problem was that the financial institutions were so highly levered it was like a Ferrari that hits a pebble and then, you know, crashes. The system was so fragile that, yes, it turned out to be a, a housing, uh, an initial set of losses related to subprime mortgages, but it, as we saw, the damage was much broader. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to say, well, where did the leverage come from? Well, that, that came as kind of a response to the fact that people looking at the financial institutions could tell that there were problems there. And so they weren't interested in putting equity financing in, so they were able to borrow short, uh, borrow, borrow through debt markets. And then it became increasingly short term. Why? Because the people that were funding the institutions knew that there was some chance that they'd want to get out. And by keeping it short, that's a good way to keep the financial institutions on a leash. But then, of course, when trouble comes, it's uh, right. all, the, all the worse.